another Thursday, we're taking a look at a health issue or concern <coughs> affecting many people, breaking down the information for you and telling you what you need to know to keep you healthy. Dr. Galani Brady from the Johnny Burns School of Medicine joins us now with this week's topic, coronavirus. Good morning, Dr. Galani Brady. Good morning, Kelly. Of course, everyone's been talking about the coronavirus. It's the top news just announced yesterday as a pandemic now. So let's get to the questions about this because, again, there were a lot. So we're going to answer more of those. Um, these are more questions that were sent in to us by our viewers. And the first one that we're going to get to is, would coronavirus affect people who have had the flu shot and the pneumonia shot? Unfortunately, the flu shot will protect against flu. Pneumonia shot will protect against bacterial pneumonia, but neither vaccine will protect against coronavirus. So what is effective against coronavirus is more than six feet of distance between you and others, frequent hand washing, using tissue and discarding the tissue for coughing and sneezing. Those may uh, affect transmission of the coronavirus. Okay, perfect. So unfortunately, you know, of course, we would all like to know that there's something that we could do to take, but it's all about the hygiene and, and staying away from people that are sick. And if you're sick at home, make sure you stay home. Right. Okay, the next question is, I'm 70 years old and plan to travel to Portland tomorrow. How serious is it to travel in the state? What special precautions should I take? Portland is not one of the hot spots for coronavirus at this time. It may change by next week. Right. However, the same precautions, frequent hand washing, uh, use of alcohol uh, substances uh, to wash your hands if soap and water for 20 seconds is not available, and then maintaining a period of uh, a, a space of six feet between you and other people. Okay, perfect. All right, the next question we have, and actually, can I have a follow-up one for that? For you mentioned hand sanitizing and washing. Is hand washing then more effective than the hand sanitizers? Yes. Okay, easy question. Yes. <laughs> or easy answer for you. All right, next question is, I had my flu shot. Will it help in some way with the coronavirus? So similar to that first question. Yes, unfortunately. Vaccines in general stimulate the immune system, but it's not going to specifically uh, guard you against coronavirus. All right, the next one is, I have an asthma problem. Is it easy to catch coronavirus? Coronavirus is relatively easy to catch compared to uh, many other infections, but not as easy to catch as influenza and certainly not as easy to catch as colds mm -hmm. or the measles. Um, basically, coronavirus, if you catch it, will be more severe if you have asthma. It's one of those respiratory conditions mm -hmm. right. that may make it worse. Okay. The next question is, I've had pneumonia three times in the past 20 years. Should I stay at home and not travel? It's prudent to stay at home if you already have an underlying respiratory right. weakness. So I would say it, if you can afford to stay home and not travel, I would do so. And then having pneumonia already three times, that's a sign of having... Respiratory okay. risk. Okay. Next question is, my grandchildren are planning a Disneyland trip this evening. Is it safe for them to go? Disneyland would be the best people to answer that question. Mm -hmm. I don't believe Disneyland is a hot spot for coronavirus. However, uh, if it's non-essential travel, all other things being equal, I would delay the travel. But tonight is tonight. <laughs> it's very difficult to cancel right. a trip right now. Right. And then <coughs> similar, someone has plans to go to Vegas next week. They can't cancel it, they say. What precautions should they take? Hand they washing, okay. alcohol uh, substances, and avoiding touching the face, mm -hmm. especially the mucous membranes around the mouth, nose, eyes. Uh, avoid that as well. Okay, thank you so much, Dr. Brady, for joining us this morning. I'm glad we got through so many questions. We had three rounds of coronavirus questions with Dr. <laughs> Brady, so thanks so much because, again, this is, of course, very top of mind for everyone. A lot of people concerned about it, and it's great to be getting the facts, especially from you, Dr. Kalani Brady. My pleasure, Kelly. All right, well, we'll have more when Take Two Returns. Stay with us. Thanks, Doc.